Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, before we get started, I have a few things I need to go over. Uh, first things first, I got the power moved up here, and if you're wondering what those are, well, I tried to record once before, and I made a mistake. As you can see, the power system is not over there. Uh, oh, here we go. The, uh... This is the an energy tester acting between these. You can't really click it. And then there's a liquid tester act there. And each one of those built the same way. This is a wrath lamp. I tried to record an episode and then made the mistake of having my mic muted. And hadn't checked it beforehand. So I ended up doing some things. Not a whole lot, thankfully, because I didn't get much accomplished. But, uh, I made one of these, which I ended up deciding to not use. But, they're not hard to make, but I just went through a lot of details about them, basically, and then, well, it doesn't really matter, because I ended up deciding I wasn't even going to use that. So, yeah. I don't, if I don't sound quite right, it's because I literally just woke up. I'm not even kidding. Now, next thing I want to address while I... I'm using the portal frames I got from whenever I was going to get all the uh, pages. But anyhow, here's the power system. I just moved it. There's a tesseract up there. I don't know if you can see it, but that is coming... The one up above there is the energy tesseract coming from the generators. These are here. Are they all empty? No. This one's got 150,000. Uh, basically, what this is, is it's a cobblestone pipe with a gate on it. I have a set, so when it's at full energy, emit a redstone signal. And it's talking to this guy, who will not drain in power until all of these are empty. When that's empty, it will take this guy, which is the one coming from the nether... And it will turn off the redstone signal, which will allow this to flow, which will go here, which goes into the generator. And then this is just the main power out tesseract. So, I moved that up to here, and then decided I would go with this cool design to do that. Let me turn this off. I don't know if they ever fixed it so they don't cause too much graphical lag. Which, by the way, I got my new motherboard, and it's kind of helped. I'm assuming that there's just something that the, my game really doesn't like, and I am i honestly think it's the barrels. Because... I can't really think of much else that could do it. Maybe all of these animated blocks, but I don't think it's those, to be honest. Uh, but anyhow, that is a wrath lamp. Ignore the, uh, the ME, we'll get into that in a minute. Who the hell's that? Whatever. So, it looks like it takes a whole Wrath Igniter, but it really only takes one charge off of a Wrath Igniter. So, that's actually not that bad. But what you do is it's dark iron, silver, glass panes, and then a charge of an igniter. Basically, it lights, uh, lights a fire inside of it, and it serves as a light. I could take out these lights down here, but the amount of time it would take me to remove all those to show it isn't really worth it. But as far as I know, they can go out eight blocks in any direction before they start losing light, and I think it's like 27 down. Somewhere in that area. It's, it's a very, very large area. But, uh, I intend to maybe make more of these. Like, if I need more power generated in the future, which it'll eventually happen. I mean, I'm not going to make these in here, but I might make, uh, wrath lamp extender -y things in here. Well, who knows, I might even make more of those. I'd rather like how they look. And that was just a spark of the moment design decision there. But, uh, a new mod was added to the Direwolf 20-pack called Applied Energistics. 
And it adds a whole bunch of these things here that, well, basically allow me to, it'd be the equivalent of storing everything in one chest. Kind, but it would allow you to use it kind of like a creative window, I think. I'm not sure how it handles extreme numbers of items. But that's what I want to work with today. It uses uh, power from... You can use EU. You can use uh, MJ. Minecraft Jules. So, but we need to get started on that. Uh, the mod added in a new world gen. Added in quartz. Which meant that I had to create a new mining world. So I moved my entire quarry f over to this world. And that one's still there in case I needed it. And I've had it doing a little bit of running. So I've got some quartz. You get both quartz dust and quartz crystal from the same block. And then you can... Uh, you can make quartz via macerating down or pulverizing or whatever quartz or quartz or oh that's not what I meant to do or you can use a compressor to turn it back in the quartz crystal if you need to so but uh, I decided it was just best to have it in both formats because you get them at about equal rates and uh, but uh, the first thing you make is a cutting tool a cutting knife I don't know if you if this has charges or if it consumes it or what, but there we go. Um, not there. Uh, we're going to need some quartz fiber, and yes, I'm just using uh, fabricators to make these. One, two, three. I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to need, so no time like the present. Go overboard. Uh, silicon. This is made from just smelting quartz dust. Plain and simple. But you take a cutting knife and you put it on the top there. And... Oh. Oh, it does have charges. And it doesn't take very long. Okay. That fabricator is probably going to stick around for a while. But doing that gives you the basic processor assembly. And we have to wait on this guy because you cook him. Because basically you're smelting the components together. Okay, so while that's doing that, we're going to make some ME cable. Oh. That's going to be highly needed. I may, I probably will end up needing more of that in the future, but uh, for now, 12 should do. Now, I wish to make this thing right here. Kind of forgotten the rest of the... I think it's quartz, isn't it? No. I've gone retarded. I set these things up yesterday, but an ME drive... Oh, right, that explains it. Oh, good, they're done. So, we put this and this. So then we get the ME drive, which isn't going to do a whole lot for us right this second. Uh, I am hoping I can replace this entire storage area with these machines. But uh, I'll get into what the ME drive does shortly. I'm going to need an access terminal, which requires things. As you can tell. So I've got that set up here. So it's just two quartz, four iron, two redstone, and then the basic ME process ME? ME basic processor. There we go. Conversion matrix. Throw that there and a piece of cable there. And now we get an access terminal. Now I don't have a thing of these set up for I should make more of these. A lot more. We need more sulfur for that, though. Okay. Oh, 
Um, yes, sure, why not? Oh good, we've got some more while I was screwing around with that. I'm not sure how much I need, so I've just been leaving one of each in here and keeping the rest of it on me. But, uh, I'm going to need a bunch of gold. Yeah, that'll do. And redstone. Not you. Okay, now I'm just missing the sulfur. That'll be a little while. So, uh, the thing is, I've got... I think I actually need the controller, too. Oh, God. That's, that's a bit expensive. Basically, the controller kind of, well, controls the entire network. So, yeah. There's a bunch of other things here that I don't plan on getting into at the moment. But, uh, I think we need the controller, which... Wait, let me see if there's anything else. Just quartz and iron for the rest of it, okay. Any processor. That's made from a sulfur, or silicon. I keep on calling it sulfur. Silicon, diamond, two redstones, and you cut it. Okay. Um, okay. I know what I'm going to do here. One diamond. Okay. That's not all of it, I know, but... Don't... Okay. And then... Oh, now I've broke it. That is a lot. I'm going to need them. Okay, so... I'll just throw this guy over here. Made more glass, because I wasn't quite sure how much I was going to need. Put that there. And, um... Right. Now, this is all well and good, but these things will not do stuff for you. You need storage drives, basically. So, I'm not entirely sure how much data fits on each one of these, because... It didn't seem like it was a rate that made sense whenever I watched Direwolf's video, but I'm considering making this. Which, it may not seem like a big deal, but then you have to make the storage cluster, which requires another of the diamond processors, and you have to make storage blocks, which also require it. So we're already on uh, three diamonds. And then you have to make these, which requires... An ME basic processor, and then these, which requires an ME basic processor. So you need a lot. Let me get this. This is each one of these is four. So so that's what twelve? Right? There. No. Yeah, each one of those is... See? I'm having issues. So there's 12 in each of those. Oh, oh, what did I do? Looking at glass. I may not have... Actually, I may have made just enough gold processors to make one of these. Because... Yeah... How many am I going to need? One, uh, three... What? I hear you making noise. Stupid thing. Nine? Now, each one of those takes three. And then there's... Er... See? Retarded. Let's tell this guy to go away. And look at storage segment. Stop that. I put that in totally the wrong spot. 
One, two, three, four, five. I'm sure the silicon is done. Yes, it is. Put you in there. I feel like I should have had. Oh, no, no, because I made the diamond chip set. Which I'm going to end up needing more silicon. Because, yeah. Okay, whatever. Diamond processory thing. ME controller. Oh, that's not hard. I can do that easy. One, two, three, four. What? No. Stop that. Stop that. So. Anyhow, there was a topic I wanted to talk about that I kind of got distracted with, which was, uh, I got told that I do too much off-camera in one of my comments. And, I'm gonna be honest, I'm normally on TeamSpeak, and there's a lot of people who, if you're not on TeamSpeak, like, I'm normally talking to the same two people every day, but they have this bad habit where if, if I'm not on TeamSpeak, they sit there and they spam my steam and they make it ring and uh, and it's really hard to do anything whenever they're awake and it's very annoying and unfortunately they don't understand a friendly hint to fuck off in short so yeah eh, not you one Okay. Okay. Boom. So that's one of the big reasons, and then a lot of what I do is just moving of things. I try not to make anything new off camera, really. So what am I doing now? Waiting, I suppose. You need iron? I think it was. Screw it. Let's just... Screw it. Screw it. There's no kill like overkill. What? Oh. Apparently I got it wrong. Go figure. Redstone, not iron. Why did I screw the pooch on that one? Just give me a stack of iron. Give me a ton of redstone. I don't even care anymore. Don't even care. And... I left just enough room for me to add more of these. So I'm going to need three of these, I think. Wait. Let's just real quick check this. One, two, three. No. Yes. Th this is a process that is a complete pain. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, twelve? Does that sound right? Let's just save sixteen for now. Oh, I'm short on quartz. Which, do we get any more yet? Yes, yes, we did. And quartz. Hmm. Nope. Don't do that. No, that's the extractor. 
I don't remember if I mentioned the rubber farm. That might have been in the silent episode, but, uh, yeah. It's there, and the uh, wheat farm's been working. That's just a manual arboretum, basically, is what I made for that. How many of these did I need? One, two, a number. One, two, a number. Uh... We don't need you. One of those. Three of those. What was the rest of that contraption? Whoa, not you. Redstone. Of course it was. Now what am I missing? What did I screw up this time? Oh, I've already made those. Glass. Well then. Don't I feel stupid for not having noticed that. But then again, it is glass. It's half invisible. And go. Nine is enough for three, but I need a lot more than that, I think, don't I? I may have underestimated what I needed from the very beginning of this situation. I think I'm going to end up with this guy. Er... No, never mind. Nine is all I need, isn't it? Because then I just need to make... three of these guys. Which means I need to make three. No, I already made those because they're down here. Let me get this straight. And now, if I were to take this out, put this here, replace this, this, and this, and get fuck all. Already wrong. Close down. God damn it. And go. Oh. There we go. That's better. Now, to make the final storage block out, oh, there's probably... Right? Okay, good, good. There we go. God, that was harder than it needed to be. Why am I so stupid? How much quartz do we have? We haven't really gotten any since last time. Oh, well, oh. I'm going to end up needing it, aren't I? Uh, 64k storage. Three iron, three redstone, two glass. There's some redstone in here. A lot of it, in fact. I think I'm just going to leave this guy here. I'm sure I've already done this wrong. No, no I didn't. And storage. Woohoo! That was a long drawn out process. Now, made you. So, I've got the storage. And I've got uh, all the machines I'm going to need. And I made a tesseract so I could deal with this easier. Now, basically what I would do is the access terminal would end up in here somewhere. So, should be able to put it right down here without interfering with anything. Take that out as an access shaft. And yeah, that should do, I hope. So what I'm going to do is down here in this little hole in the ground, I'm going to put the drive right there, the controller right 
there, and the Tesseract right there. Piece of this wire in my face. First of all, let's see. Power is low. Oh, I haven't. There we go. Now, it's currently drawing 8 units per tick, but I think in the current implementation of the thing, it's uh, 1 unit is 5 Minecraft joules, so it's not pulling a whole hell of a lot. So, this is the ME drive. This is where we made the data storage thing. You put it in there. You can see that, that lit up there. Uh, that can come in different colors. Orange if you set this to only support specific types, or green if it's just good in general. But what we're going to do... Did that increase? Yeah, see, now it's taking 10, but that's still fine. Now, I'm going to put a piece of... I'm actually just going to put two, just to be safe. One there, and one there. See that flicker of light? But uh, I'm going to then bring this up one, and place access terminal. Well, that lit up. I know it's online. This will receive power from the rest of the machine. Because you can attach the power anywhere in the network, and it will control everything. So the ME cable is what you use to attach everything together. It's powered by either EUs or Minecraft jewels. And what this basically does is, say I were to come over here, I'll take a bunch of iron, right? As you can see, as I'm putting stuff in, it's not becoming separate stacks. It's becoming one giant stack. 1,000 661 iron. Whoops. And it's got a search feature. Now, if I were to go to back down here, that has nothing to do with this mod, I'm pretty sure. That has something to do with something that I'm not entirely sure why it's doing it. But if we look in this drive, you'll see that it's storing 720 bytes. So, to me, that equals out to about two items per every one byte, which means this can hold, what, 130,000 items? But it can only hold 63 types of items, and we're already using one type. So, but I honestly don't think it's going to be a huge deal because, uh, first of all, every new drive we end there, if it fills up those item spaces in it that will uh, it'll start moving into other drives and eventually one day my plan is to have that entire thing filled with drives like the one that we made and that should be enough to hold pretty much everything I'm still gonna keep those guys separate like that but everything else I plan to get in here um, it's going to take time to get the sorting machine to be able to support that. But... And there's a much, much better way that I can do what I'm doing right now. Remember that router I made? Well, it doesn't require power for one. And I made these upgrades, which... I kind of... Didn't get to show you either. They're not too hard. Egg blaze powder, dark iron ingot, bandwidth. That makes it ma move whole stacks. Thoroughness makes it visit an entire machine before it finishes its segment. And I think I need is it ejector? Ejector. So I need a pressure plate, piece of wood, two cobblestone, a piston, and four dark iron. One, two, three, four. I've got two cobblestone. I need a piston. Piece of wood. Um, what was the rest of it? 
pressure plates. Two more pieces of wood. Not you. One, two. Is that everything? Yes, I'm aware that guy's not in the right spot. So, what I can do with the ejector is it allows the router to, as you may be able to imagine, eject things. But this isn't going to do me a whole lot of good because I need a... This is a very good question. What is it that I need? Emmy something. Oh. Emmy. What? Oh, I'm on page two. We need the Emmy interface. This basically allows you to pipe things into the system. So, two quartz, two redstone, four iron. We made one of those already. Two. Four iron. One, two, three, four. Okay, sh I have everything else on me. Not entirely sure if I'm putting this in the right order. Cool. Okay, so then what was the rest of the things we needed? Four iron. Three glass. Got glass. Four iron. I'm always paranoid to click on a barrel with this tool because I've accidentally exploded a barrel before. And Emmy interface. This allows you to directly connect pipes and such to the uh, machine. Woohoo! So if anything gets piped in here. Right? Say we were to put this in here. It instantly disappears, and it's now in that storage terminal. Uh, this does not need to be right here. It can be anywhere on the network. But I'm putting it right here for the time being. Actually, I want to move it. Oh. Ta-da! I will put it right... Screw it. Put it right there. Now, I'm planning on tricking this entire network of stuff. I just heard a lightning bolt hit outside. Not, not in real life, in game. So, the way routers work is they can pull from adjacent machines and stuff. Stuff. Which means that uh, if I, for say, want to pull from the rest of these barrels in one go, one of the easiest ways to do that. Wait. I, I wrote a few more programs to support the new world. It's sand, and for some reason it's slightly higher. Okay, but it's done. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. If I pop out this pipe and that and put a barrel in, that will count them as connected inventories by the router. And I'll just do the same thing somewhere randomly over here. And then if I go up here, do the same thing right about here. Where do I want this? I will put it right there. Extract from bottom. Now we want to put these upgrades in it. I'm not putting the ejector in till I have pipes. Uh, crap. 
pretty sure it doesn't support the red power pipes, and I don't really have any of those left anyhow. So, I guess we'll use my iron pipes. Why not? Rent you to go that way. Thoroughness, always finish serving machines. Bandwidth, move stacks at a time. And eject to... Purple. Hello? Hello? Why are you not ejecting to purple? Why are you not ejecting? Hmm. Well, this is unexpected. Did I do something wrong? Hmm. Well, what about bottom? Check to bottom? Hmm. I see. I see. Breaking a barrel gets you the up er, barrel. A uh, router gets you the upgrades back. So, holes wall there. Okay, so that means that this guy, who broke the glass there. Uh, put these back. I don't know what's that all about, but uh, so then if I. Put the put you in put you in put you in Eject or er, extract from bottom eject to west Yes Yes! Pull all the things! And because I attached all these inventories, it's going to keep doing this until the end of the world. Well, close enough to the end of the world. Uh, storage drive should be right here. This machine's causing a bit of graphical lag. So there's uh, five of 63 item types in here. Apparently it's already gone through the Nicolite. Look at it go! Look at it go! Why have you stopped? Why have you stopped? Oh. 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 The corners aren't technically connected. Oh, there goes part of my wall. And because the corners aren't technically connected... I have... Habs. I have to substitute. If I substitute, I mean do this. Attach all the things. Yeah. Yeah, that should do.
so many items. How are you doing? We've already used a quarter of our storage space. Although we did take the things that we had the most of besides those. I'd really, really rather it not touch those. So I think what I'm going to try to do by next time is I want to get this entire room consolidated into this one machine. But I'm going to need more quartz for that. Why is this not doing? Where have you gotten stopped at? Once again, I'm being an idiot. Where, oh where, do I wish to connect? Hmm. Ta-da! This is a laggy machine, huh? What am I doing? Oh, come on. Barrel. Barrel. Right, and that should help me get all the things. I have two different types of quartz. I've, this is an issue I've never resolved, but the easiest thing I can think of is to take this random stack of quartz and throw it on the ground. Oh no. No, it's doing the sand. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is absolutely terrible. So I know it can accept input. Can it accept output? And didn't I make a void pipe? Actually, my void pipe is what's down below, isn't it? But I got these, so that'll do. If I put a cobblestone pipe there, and a void transport pipe there. Oh, jeez. That's what I was afraid of. Ah, crap. Four quartz crystals, twenty quartz dust. But I like this much better. It's kind of like having a creative inventory. But uh, the router is still trying to do things and it's causing lag. So, what I'm going to do for next time is I'm going to get all these things in the storage. I might actually record it just after this, but. Uh, there's no lever in there. There's no lever in there either. You can turn off the router with a lever, and it's causing some extreme graphical lag right now. I've noticed things that do a lot of ticks very, very quickly can cause quite a bit of lag. But I believe barrels also cause quite a bit of lag. Ah, sweet release. Yes, yes, I understand your filter is filled. So, 
Let's try something, shall we? If I take 64 out, yes, shift clicking just gives you a stack. If I were to put that there. Oh, you! Stop! Stop! Okay. I'm assuming I can't just pump things out. Well, I can probably pump them out, but, uh... Hmm... I wonder, there's a different type of cable, not the storage bus, uh, export bus. Ugh, it requires an interface to make the stupid thing. No, Actually, I can make that right now. Except for, I have a disaster piece of an inventory right now. Oh, uh, no. Stupid thing. You actually got me, you bastard. Okay, so... I need... I have pretty much everything on me. Hey! Give me that back. Redstone. In probably the wrong spot. That, in probably the wrong spot. That also, in... What am I doing? I'm doing things all wrong. There's not even glass in this recipe. Now oh, I need three glass, a cable, and four iron. Okay. One, two, three, four. Like that. And that. And that. Make one of those. Let me export boss. I need a piston. That's not pistons. So I need a cable, an interface, I need piston. Export bus. That's better. Now, oh, wrench, 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 wrench. What? That's not the right way. Now, I should be able to put what I want to export into here. So I wish to export sand. What oh, does have a stack mode? Cobble. Can it export directly? I'm just going to put a cobblestone pipe here. Can't say I'm surprised about that one. At all. Uh. Hmm. You can. How far is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Crap! Why do you do these things to me? Uh-oh. Too far. Well, crap. On a cracker. I created for myself a very slight predicament. 
but I'm I'm working on it. And I'm sure this is not the most effective way doing such things. But this is how I'm going to do this. Exactly the same as I made the other output area. Uh, right here should be fine. Now, theoretically, I should be able to output directly into this relay, which is facing the wrong way. Uh, my inventory is too full. Yeah, I figured as much. There we go. That's better. Now. Wrench. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Come down here. Rotate this guy the other way. What? That actually connects? That doesn't seem right. What? That shouldn't have actually connected. Can you actually connect to... Hey. What'd you do with my relay? You motherfucker. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, it voided my relay. God damn it. Well, I think you get the hint of what I'm trying to do here. But now I need a new relay. Son of a bitch. Basically, I'm going to take the cobble, the sand, the dirt, and I'm just going to void every single bit of it. But unfortunately, I need to make all these machines over again so I can get a relay so I can actually do that. <sighs> God damn. I could do this right now. It wouldn't be that bad. I don't have any red doped wafers, but I do have silicone. I'm going to need two of these. Am I not one? I just need one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Buffer, 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 buffer. Uh, I've got some fences clogging up my network. Or not fences, bars. Stop that. So, yeah. Things have not quite gone as I had intended. I'm not sure how many I need, so I decided... I would go overkill. I reversed these, didn't I? No, oh, no, I didn't. Transposer, 5, 2, redstone. Five. Two. What am I missing? A piston. Ah. <sighs> I am retarded. Piston. Now, piston goes there. Redstone. Five. Two. Transposer. What am I missing? I need two cobble. One, two. I need 
four wood. God damn it. Okay. I should have enough now, I hope. Oh. Did I really just do that? <laughs> So, this is why I shouldn't do things right after waking up. Ejector? Huh? Did I? Buffer, transp... What? I don't understand what just happened. And I don't think I care anymore, to be honest. It looks exactly like a relay. As long as it functions exactly like a relay, I'll be happy. Hmm. Don't tell me that it's... No, let's look at this. Ejector. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, you know what? You know what? I don't even care. Just kill yourself. Hmm. So, do you know what the difference between an ejector and that thing is? I'll tell you. Or, the difference between a relay and an ejector is... I mistakenly made one. Uh, but the difference is, I, as you can see, the red dipped wafer is still in my inventory. That'll be enough. So, I kind of dumbed that up. Wood, wood. Piston goes there, redstone goes there. Transposer, buffer, red doped wafer. That's not right. Relay. So if I were to set this up like this again, uh, where'd it go? Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, that means I just threw away all the dirt and sand, so I can't even set this up again. I am a genius. You will do as I say. Well, it's not exactly the most effective way of doing it, but... 
better than nothing, I suppose. It does make a little uh, noise, but I don't even care. As long as it keeps working, everything's fine. Okay. I'm gonna replace my bits of floor. Well, that'll slowly pull all the sand, cobble, and dirt out of the network. So I very, very quickly put sand, cobble, and dirt back into the network. Hello? Uh. Oh. Actually, I have no idea. <sighs> Crap. Well. I guess. Well, I can... I can make the quarry still work, in theory. All I've got to do not do that. Let's take pneumatic tubes. Hmm. If I put a chest back there. Well, not that chest, apparently. If I put a chest back there, it will still be router supported and it'll act as a buffer. Can I still open it? Yes, I can. And it can technically put a stack into... Oh, this guy's in the way. that back up. How Did it clear the entire top? Oh wow. It did. Save for that. Okay. That's progress. Put this barrel back here. I have a very, very hazardous idea. Run a full cycle. But, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get the quartz, or get all the stuff set up to make another one of these, uh, the things down in there. That'll allow it to hold 63 more item types, and then that should be able to handle almost my entire storage room. So, uh, yep. I'm going to call this good for now, and when we come back, this room should be much, much less existing. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.